Normally engine failures are pretty scary. Not today. We're gliding. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's not about personality matrices and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. All right, guys, we're here today at Miami Gliders with Luke. Hi. And we got Stuart. He's going to be my captain on this flight. Stuart, show us a little bit of the, uh, the instrument panel here and uh, what the gauges and all these levers do. Okay. Well, uh, it's the same basic controls that you'd find in, in most aircraft, minus the engine controls. Uh, ALT is a dead giveaway for altitude. The airspeed is indicated in knots, and uh, knot is 1.15 miles an hour. And then we have this instrument here with the up and down arrows is a sensitive variometer, which tells us whether we're climbing or descending, and it will tell us if we're in rising air or sinking air. Very cool. What's that uh, yellow handle here do? Is that my ejection handle? Uh, actually, no. Uh, the, we took the ejection seats out of this one, <laughs> but uh, this will release the tow rope. This is what pulls, we get pulled up behind the uh, tow plane, and that will release the rope. There's like a parrot beak, a metal parrot beak, that clips around a ring, and when you pull that, the beak opens up, letting the tow ring go. Nice, and then you got a blue handle there. What's the blue handle do? Blue handle, we use, uh, this is the, the air brakes or spoilers, which are located on the top and bottom of the wing, and we use these primarily uh, to regulate our airspeed and rate of descent when we are landing. All right, very cool. And then you got your stick control there. And, stick control uh, and uh, your rudder, pedals. rudder pedals. Rudders are, rudder pedals are very important in this glider. We get a lot of pilots and coming out here to practice their stick and rudder skills. Because the wings are so long, you have a phenomenon called adverse yaw, which will tend to point the nose in the opposite direction of the turn if you don't use the rudder. So it's Perfect. A combination of both. Let's get this started. Okay. Uh, just leave the canopy open for now. It's going to get to turn that camera on, then I'll... Okay. And it, you'll, it'll see you guys when he turns around and stuff. Okay, canopy near brakes, close and lock. We're going to 5,000. I'm waggling the, the rudder pedals. That's the ground signal for ready for takeoff. Basically, a lot of stick movement on the ground. Okay, using firm pressure on the rudder. Look at 
this, guys. This is pretty amazing. First thing you want to do is find the airport. You see it? Uh, right, right down there. there. We got the airport right down here. Because, okay. guys, we have no engine. So, we got to make sure we hit the runway first time the right way. And there's the tow plane ahead of us. There's the tow plane right out here. His name is Steve, and we got Stuart back here, Captain Stuart. I'm trimming it up, and I'm going to give it to you. I want you to just fly straight and level if you can for a while. All right. You have the, uh, let me trim a little better. You don't have the controls. My controls. You have the controls. All right, guys. I am uh, first time ever in control of a glider. Wake turbulence. A little wake turbulence from the tow plane right there. I'm just gonna hold 5,000 feet or you want me to descend? No, you can't hold it. Oh. We don't have an engine. I forgot, there's no engine. <laughs> we have to descend. <laughs> so 40 to 45 knots is ideal. Okay. Not, no fa faster, we just go down quicker. Closer to 40, we'll go down a little bit slower. So. That's funny, guys. I asked him if I, he wanted me to hold 5,000 and I totally forgot we have no engine. You have to descend. You pitch for your speed, which is right now we're pitching for 45 knots. There's an airplane right there. Who's that? That is a uh, extra 300, and that is our friend uh, John Fox. All right, so we know that's John. I gotta admit, this, this is really fun. It's really fun. oh, look, we got the tow plane over here. Yeah, you can fly straight. Airplanes. We got the extra, we got the tow plane. This is fun. Oh, that extra 300, look at him. I don't know if you guys can see him on the cameras, guys. He's having all kinds of fun. You're doing great, Steve. Natural stick, I can tell. This is by far the closest I've ever felt to being a bird. Well, hopefully we'll get to fly with some birds as we get lower. the uh, Ford Everglades here. If we went down out here, we'd probably be alligator bait. Okay, we have parachutes, parachutes that are opening ahead of us. We be on the lookout. You see them? I got two of them. Okay, good. So there may be others higher up still. So we're eventually going to turn to the right. Okay. So that we avoid the drop zone. So what we're watching out for, we have some uh, guys parachuting right over here at our 11 o'clock. I got them in sight, so we're staying clear of them. Okay, let's begin a right turn to the south now. Right turn to the south. One thing with gliders is there's no transponder on board, so you really have to be aware of all the different air traffic around you. Here we got the extra 300 uh, nose diving out there in front of us. Hope you guys can see that. That was pretty cool. So right now we're looking for a uh, towering cumulonimbus that's going to give us some good thermal. So thermal. So we're turning towards one. So how are you guys enjoying the uh, glider flight so far? So enjoying it? Good. Glad to hear. I'm enjoying it. So Stuart thinks this cloud up here in front of us is a good candidate for some thermals. I have no idea. I have a feeling he knows what he's talking about. And the airspeed is perfect and flying great. Thank you, Stuart. So the idea of gliding is when you're in sinking air, you want to accelerate faster to get out of it to find that the uplifts, and then you can slow it up and stay in the uplifts. So um, I'm starting to get the hang of this gliding thing. So now you see the Varyons going up with both a few bumps there. Now we're in a rising, a little bit of a rising air here. So I'm going to do a little turn to the right, to the right, to the right. Very, very gentle. And Stuart, you are correct. We you said we just found rising air and look at the birds. Birds down below. I so, when you s at least one. I got two of them right down here. Okay, well, eventually they'll. Oh, actually, a whole yeah. bunch of them. Yeah, there you go. So, Stuart was correct. When you see all the birds, you know they're going to be in the area where the rising air is at. And right off our wing here, we've got about eight different birds. So, we're in a good area for the uh, uplifting air. So, we were at 2,900 now climbing.
starts uh, manipulating the speed brake. Great job. Oh, I missed it by 10 feet. Stuart, great, <laughs> great flight, Stuart. Okay, if you open up your canopy, we'll give you a lot cooler. There you go. Guys, if you have never flown a glider before, highly recommend it. You guys come down to uh, Miami Gliders down here at Homestead Airport. They'll uh, hook you up and they'll take you up and treat you to a fun flight. So anyway, Stuart, it was awesome having uh, everybody on board with us and uh, thanks it for bringing fun. us up. All right, guys, take care. Jake, you're